guys, it's Amanda, and welcome to Halloween on my YouTube channel. So, I'm doing something a little bit different this year, if you couldn't tell. I am doing a series of makeup looks, and then I'm going to be doing illustrations inspired by those makeup looks. So, this is my first one for Halloween 2017. I'm so excited. It's this sort of Medusa serpent witch inspired makeup look. I wasn't really sure where I was going with it when I sat down to film it, but uh, we're here. It happened. And now you get to see me create this makeup look alongside an illustration inspired by this makeup look. It's a new format. I've never done this before, like I mentioned. So please let me know your thoughts and if you like it and if you want me to alter or change it up in any way to make it a more pleasurable viewing experience. Yeah, without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and get into the video because the makeup looks looks a lot less cool when I'm talking. So, roll the footage. And bam, just like that, we are into this video. So as you can see on the left side, I am working on the artwork and I'm just starting out by doing my basic shadows and skin tones. You guys have seen that a million and one times. So I'm gonna talk about the right side, which is the makeup side in a little bit more depth. So I started out by removing the makeup I already had on my face. And if you are new to Halloween makeup, makeup remover wipes are going to be your best friend. I also just moisturized and primed my skin and I used a Nivea Men's Shave Balm as a primer. It makes your makeup last a little bit longer and wear a little bit better throughout the day, which if you're going to be wearing this for Halloween, I would highly recommend using a primer. You can use a makeup primer or you can use the Shave Balm. It's really up to you. There are inexpensive options available for both. Now for the foundation, I kept the color a little bit lighter than my natural skin tone just to make my skin almost look more sickly. Um, and then I went in with some cream contouring and highlighting just to sort of intensify my bone structure and give myself a more angular, intense, villainous appearance. Now once I'm done with all my cream products, I set that with a translucent powder just to lock it in and make it more long wearing. And then I'm basically going in with some powder products and further enhancing that bone structure. I want to look really sharp and really, I don't know, malicious? <laughs> I don't know if that's the right word. And one note about this Medusa character that I've created is that I wasn't trying to 100% replicate the makeup look when I did the illustration. It was really just sort of like, I wanted them to be pulled from the same inspiration. Oh my gosh, don't laugh at my face right now, you guys. I am doing this technique where you take old fishnets and you put them over your head and then put eyeshadows on top because it's a really super easy way to create sort of a scaled texture. I know I look ridiculous. Don't make fun of me. You will see how awesome it looks in a little bit. Um, but anyway, so this Medusa character isn't really pulled directly from any sort of Greek mythology. It was sort of just a snake woman inspired thing okay so don't come for me if you guys are like greek mythology experts all right this was just purely an inspiration and not me trying to create the actual medusa character in any way so i'm layering some dark shadows down on my face first and then going over top of those with some shimmery green and shimmery gold eyeshadows that is going to give my skin sort of that reflective, scaly snake appearance. And as you can see, I'm not really covering my entire face, but I'm enhancing my cheekbones further by putting some darker colors and putting the scales down there, and then using lighter colors for the scales on the high points of my face. Just again, further getting into that contouring business. I'm also just using shadows to kind of further um, intensify areas like between my eyes and my nose and um, around my hairline especially because I got a pale scalp and it kind of sticks out. So that's a really easy thing to do with eyeshadow too. And if you're wondering about the eyeshadows that I'm using, this is the Morphe 35C palette. I've used this, I'm pretty sure, every single year for my Halloween makeup looks and I highly recommend it. It's such a good palette. Now let's talk about the art again really quick because there is going to be one major difference between the makeup look and the art look and that is what I do with the jawline. 
I kind of go back and forth on to whether this is a good decision for the makeup look, but I pretty much decided to black out the bottom part of my face to give it a more snake-like appearance. If you think of the head of a snake, it sort of tapers down into more of a point, and rather ma than making that point my chin, I sort of made it the point where my upper lip ends. This is optional, and I think it would have looked cool either way, but um, I don't know. It's, it's your call. For the illustration, I decided not to do that just because I thought it would look a little bit weird and it wouldn't have really made sense to render it out that way. And that really just shows you the major difference between rendering something with makeup and rendering something with markers is that it's a lot harder to make your face look like a specific shape, especially if that shape is like a mythical creature. However, if you're drawing it, it's a lot easier to be flexible with those sorts of things. So that's just a little note that I wanted to bring up. And you can see that I'm sort of replicating that same scaly-like texture with my markers that I did in the makeup look. And I do this by just layering up some various browns and grays, and then I'm actually gonna go over that later on with some gold paint. So for the eyes on the makeup side, I pretty much just did a basic smoky eye with a black wing, nothing too fancy, and it's fine if it's a little bit messy, it really doesn't make that much of a difference. I'm adding some false lashes just to sort of intensify the eye look, and because my eyes tend to be small, if I do really dark smoky looks, it really only makes my eyes look smaller, so false lashes kind of help to open up my eyes again and make them look bigger and more proportionate to my face, especially when I have a lot of dark makeup on. Um, so you can see I'm kind of filling in my brows because if there's one thing that all good evil villains have, it's a arched brow, right? I mean, think of every villain in every Disney movie ever. Ursula, her brow game. Nobody can come for her brow game. It's too strong. Like she's got amazing brows <laughs> so if you're gonna be a good super villain you gotta have good brows and now you can see I'm starting to sort of block in those dark areas uh, with my black shadow and you can carry this down as far onto your body as you want I think it probably would look better if you do uh, this dark technique to carry it down your neck at the very least and then maybe just wear a black top so that it all kind of blends in um and i'm also giving myself some fangs because i feel like that was the whole point of cutting my face off higher up was to um make it as though like that's the top of a snake's mouth or head and then the fangs would be coming out this was really just personal choice you could do either one basically if you want to be a snake for halloween just get yourself some cheap fishnets and some shimmery eyeshadows and you're done that's it it's, it's super easy but you you can do as much or as little as you want to get this look you don't have to follow these exact steps i'm not claiming for this to be like a step-by-step -step tutorial because i'm some kind of professional this was just me having fun for halloween because it's my favorite time of year and you guys know i like to have a good time so Back onto the artwork side. You can see I sort of filled in the background with these dark colors. I really liked um, that hint of red that I added in the background to sort of complement the lips because that really draws you to her fangs, which kind of bring you up to the eyes, and it really just solidifies like the snake look. Um, and I'm also going in with my Pentel Pocket brush pen to ink this and make the lines really intense. And I've really been loving my brush pen again lately. We've been having some good times together for Inktober, we've bonded, we've sort of fallen in love all over again, and this brush pen and I are good pals. So yeah, we had, we had a lot of fun inking this. I don't know why I say we, like it's just me by myself in my house. But um, yeah, so I really thought that the brush pen was a good call for this because it really just sort of... I don't know, the flowing lines with the flowing snake shapes, it just complements each other really nicely. And um, coming up here in just a moment, you will see the final touch that I add on the artwork side, and that is some gold metallic paint. I'm gonna be reviewing these paints on my channel very soon, but this was my first time trying them out, and I think they speak for themselves, but you guys will see that in a moment. Finishing up on the makeup side, really the only thing left to do is the hair. And I have sort of these messy curl wave sort of texture going on in my hair. I basically just like tease my hair up a little bit, 
throw some snakes from the dollar store that we painted with our gold paint. You guys saw that if you watched the vlogs. And that is it for the hair. It's a really easy look, you guys. I, I mean, it, I may have made it look more complicated than it really is, but I don't know. I think it's a, I think it's a good look, and um, it would be really easy and fun if you wanted to try it out this year. If you do, take a picture and send it to me so I can see. I would love to see if any of you recreated this. Um, so yeah. That is pretty much the end of this Halloween video. Again, let me know if you think I should change up the format in any way. If you like this format and you're looking forward to seeing more throughout this entire month because I'm excited. I got some really cool ideas and I think you guys will like it a lot. So you can see a little hint of that shimmer from that gold paint, but I do have a clip at um, the end of this video showing that reflection because when it hits the light it just really stands out so unfortunately the scanned version of this artwork isn't going to really do it justice just because you're not going to have that metallic reflect like you would in person and on a final note all of the artwork that I do throughout the month of Halloween and for Inktober is going to be available on my store Envy. The link is in the description down below, so make sure that you are following me there so you are updated every single time I add something new to the store. There's a lot of fun and new exciting Halloween goodies going up this month, so grab them while you can because they're super limited edition and obviously I had to do something special for you guys for Halloween. So there's also going to be a discount promotion going on as well. So let's take a look at the final piece. guys and that is it for Halloween video number one expect more of these throughout the entire month of October and let me know what you guys plan on being for Halloween also stay tuned for a bunch of Inktober videos if you're not following me on Instagram you should definitely start following me there because that's where I'm posting my daily Inktober drawings and then I will do a final recap sketchbook flip through at the end of Inktober which you can look forward to in November I guess oh my gosh so weird so ahead of the game but anyway I had a lot of fun with this hopefully you guys had fun watching it if you did give it a thumbs up I would super appreciate it and I will see you guys next time bye